Tulpa. Hey, dude. After driving, what was it, five hours yesterday? Yeah. Camping at a random spot. Yep. Hanging out with Ricky. That was cool. And finally here. Yeah. What do you think of the spot? It's great, man. I think this is the right move. You know, we can enjoy ourselves some good food, crack open a cold drink, which sounds really good right now. Um, but I was telling you earlier, the best part about this trip so far was we've seen two old friends of mine. And uh, I think it comes to show like it's nice to have friends in different places. You get to visit them, catch up, yep. see how they're doing. Yep, and now we're ready for the second leg of the adventure. Jaime also has a little treat for you guys a little later. If you guys haven't watched our Anza trip, it was Daniel, Jaime, and myself. This guy made a bootleg hot cheeto pasta. Mm. Well, this time around, we stopped at Target and what'd you get? <laughs> Let's just save it. If you watch the first video, if you haven't watched and you're watching thus far, make sure to uh, bookmark Anza, maybe watch it <laughs> beforehand, right? I don't want to spoil the surprise. All right, all right. Yo, Jaime. Yo. It's that time, baby. Soon after arriving, we decided to make a quick lunch. By the way, Daniel, as always, killing it. He made us a very tasty sandwich. And I'll tell you this, once we ate that sandwich, everybody got tired, everybody needed a quick nap. So we all took a quick nap. I set my alarm for 30 minutes, woke up and decided to do a quick little fishing session in hopes of catching a trout for dinner. But unfortunately, I was not successful, but regardless, it was still a great time being able to just hang out for a little bit, enjoy the views, and do some fishing. So as we hang out at this last location, we're just letting that sunset do its job. That golden hour just unfolding, revealing all the beautiful colors that this place has to offer. We do have a uh, pretty interesting late night dinner planned for tonight. And uh, you guys are gonna be in for a treat. Jaime is gonna get down with that hot cheeto pasta that he's gonna make and I'll be honest with you guys I'll let you know whether it's good whether I recommend it whether I don't but uh, it's gonna be good times look at this place so sick so sick just gotta shoot these lighters these actually are my two favorite lighters by MK they're just the pocket lighters um, but they're slip guard finish so they don't slip out of your hand like a normal lighter would, and uh, they're refillable. So if you buy a lighter and you love the design, you can have it for a lot longer than you expect. MK lighter. <laughs> Daniel farted. Did I fart? You did, huh? No. Did you fart? No. I heard something go. No. I, I, I would deny it if I did, but I'm very well mannered and I don't do that in front of nice men. <laughs> We had mac and cheese apparently infused with hot Cheeto, but we got a lot of hate in the comments that apparently it wasn't actual hot Cheeto pasta. So for this video, we do bring you the official hot Cheeto pasta. Don't add us, don't question us, and be ready for some amazing hot Cheeto pasta. Stay tuned. So we need butter, which I think we do have butter. Oh, there it is. So George is in the restroom at Target, and some dude looks over the stall apparently and has a conversation with him. Sits down in the stall next to him and whips out a Lunchable and sets it on the floor and starts eating it, which makes me so happy. I don't know why. <laughs> Ooh. 
either gonna be really good or terrible. Chester the cheetah. Oh my god. Sweet home diarrhea. Should we put should we put a oh we got that going top? God no. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so gnarly. Okay, it's gonna be good, now. you know that. I need to get a button my It's the most artificial tasting thing I've ever eaten in my life. It's weird. <laughs> oh my god. Is it spicy? Not really, but it's just artificial. As hell, huh? Mm hmm Damn. Not gonna lie, this is just an appetizer, Ooh. you guys. Emperor and Zabrigo. Georgia kept, <laughs> George kept going. <laughs> and Danny goes, why do you keep whistling? <laughs> and now we're on this trip and Dino's whistling. He's an A fool. Oh my god. He's learned like A fool. Or, oh hell no. Nah. Oh hell no. Nah. That's definitely a twerko. Twerko. <laughs> twerko. After enjoying Jaime's specialty, which is the hot cheeto pasta, which I personally really enjoyed with a little bit of butter, a little bit of lime. We were so pretty hungry, so Daniel decided to bring out his snow pea grill and he cooked us some delicious meatballs and pasta, which definitely hit the spot. Now we were a little tired from the drive, so after the full meal, we decided it was finally time to just wind down, sit by the fire, and call it a night a little early to get ready for the next day. Oh, that was legit fish on right there. Get time or what? No. Don't forget your camera. Here. No tengo. No tengo dinero. <laughs>
Let's go far together. <laughs> Daniel, always making a scene at camp. Look at this guy. Games. Gym life. Oh hey, do 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 ten squats, ten squats, oh. ten squats, ten squats. All right. Oh. Oh, this thing is one. Oh. Oh. That's all I got. Protein. Electrolyte. Photosynthesis. Follow those rules. That's just wrong. It smells good. You gonna put root beer in there next? I thought about it actually. <laughs> no, you did not. For real. Really? Yeah. You ever had a Cafe Rio? They do Dr. Pepper on their barbacoa. Last day of the trip, um, we're doing some carne asada, uh, some peppers and onions on the grill, fajita style, tortillas, chopped onion, uh, some guacamole, and some salsa. Uh, the meat, I took a random, uh, random swing and put some of the salsa that we have and some tequila in there to tenderize it and add some flavor. Man, Daniel, this guy's always being creative, making some bomb food. Oh, we haven't, we haven't tried yet, but it smells good. It looks amazing. And uh, I think him and Marco, Overland X, should do a cook off. Hell yeah, that'd be sick. So, Marco, I know you watch my videos, I see your comments all the time. This is the guy you want to go against. <laughs> no way. Cheers. Boom. Let's try. Tender. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're actually really good. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. Did, uh, was it carne asada? Carne asada on the snow peak with red onion, bell pepper, guacamole, a little bit of salsa. Give it a go. Mm hmm. Citrusy. Did you put citrus? Yep. Great. Thank you, Daniel. Love it. Now that was a good dinner. And now we're going to hang out. These guys were taking some awesome pictures as well. Jaime, you got down, dude. Yeah, I can't wait to show everyone um, the views. Oh, yeah. So make sure you guys follow Jaime. I'm sure a lot of you guys are already following. But if you don't and you're new to the channel, Aside from subscribing, follow Jaime. Yep. What's your Instagram, dude? Uh, you can find my personal at Jaime Lozoya. That's J-A-I-M-E Lozoya. Or if you most likely have seen George, we've done tons of partnerships through um, my brand Easy Supplies. And if you enjoy any of George's videos or anything like this that we do, you can always support the collaboration between him and I. That's right. Right here, guys. Check it out. Boom.
boring, like these places so much nicer. It, I will give you the freaking time of your life. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. And man, is it nice and cozy in here. This diesel heater has been doing the job, although I did manage to break the controller. It got stuck in between the tailgate and I closed it and it went bye bye, but it still works. Um, it wasn't really necessary for me to have a diesel heater on today. It wasn't even that cold, but you know, just not having to use the a sleeping bag and just to be to sleep cozy with a nice view it's, it's always nice so we're gonna get up and uh, check it out now that it's uh, morning time last night we had an amazing uh, dinner some tacos you guys saw that and uh, the views were pretty gnarly um, but you know, I'm always curious to see what what the morning has and uh, but so far by just looking out it's pretty epic. Now for those of you guys that have a canopy, it doesn't matter if you have an alley cab, smart cab, uh, snug top, whatever it is, and you're trying to run this diesel heater, um, this is a little trick that I learned on this trip. Never done this. Um, so I get a front runner strap and I put a little small like D-ring and strap it to the latch there. And it allows me to close the latch, have some privacy in here, and at the same time, give that perfect gap, allowing the hose to go in. Now, the only problem with that is the gap. Um, I'm not too worried about people, you know, like peeking in or somebody reaching in and trying to, you know, steal something. But the only thing is you will get some, some cold air leaking in. Uh, so I did use this small Mexican blanket and just just put it along the the corner here of the edge to try to keep some of the heat in. But for the most part, I mean the diesel heater itself, I mean it does its job and you have four settings and even at its lowest setting with the gap, uh, it keeps the inside of this canopy uh, nice and toasty. Now another add-on that I've added to my tailgate is this small strap here uh, easy Jaime makes these um, and it basically bolts onto the factory holes you don't have to drill anything and uh, this allows me to grab my tailgate all the way from the bottom pull it up close it without having to be trying to pull it up, pull it up like this now this little guy is made in the USA, and for those of you guys that shop with Easy Supplies, everything he sells um, is made here in the USA. So definitely if you're looking for some type of solution like this, I would recommend you going to his website and checking it out. Price-wise, they're about 20 bucks or so. Um, definitely worth the investment.
you're so tan with the white hat right now, too. Let's see that tan, dude. No, the tan, like, on the side of your ear. Yeah, these. So bad. That's a wrap, guys. Yep. Six days on the road. Daniel never wears wedding ring. <laughs> wow. Show, shows your tan. Prove it. Yeah. You've been wearing it all the time. Is there a tan or dirt? Probably dirt. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's been dope. Did you guys have a good time? Had a blast. Yeah, yeah it was good. We got to do it again soon. Not yeah. too soon, but soon. I would say longest road trip I've done in a long time. That was long. Really? Yeah, dude, seven days is good. You feel crusty? <laughs> feel good? Yeah, Fresh? feel good. Yeah. It's going to be about like 1,800 miles. No. Yeah. I only clocked in. Mine's at like nine something right now. I think mine was at like 1,200. The what? GPS? Okay. Yeah, I'll look. It's epic. But yeah, it was, it was good times. Thanks, Deb. Hope you guys enjoyed, right? Hope you guys enjoyed it, yeah. All these episodes. This is the last episode, but we'll do it again soon. Last yep. episode ever. 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 After this, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's so sad to end that way. <laughs> Let's row. See you guys. See you guys.